What's up? I'm glad you guys joined me today for this 3D Machines production. We're gonna start some things out right. And what I mean by right is froggy fresh. Got a little fan mail. And then I have two mysteries for you guys. Well, this is already looking sweet. So before I talk about my two mysteries, let's get into this. Holy smokes! This must be from Fat Lee. He sent me some ratcheting wrenches. Now it looks like he sent me a tripod. And the reason why I know this is he personal messaged me on YouTube. It smells extremely good. It smells like brand new plastic. Now don't make me feel like a weirdo and say that you don't like the smell of new plastic. I love the smell of new plastic. This is getting really sketchy, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks again, Fat Lee, for notifying me that you were sending me a tripod, and then thank you for actually sending me the tripod. Let's check this thing out. I'll use this one for the garage and then I'll use the one that I'm using right now for inside. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Next order of business. Mystery box number two. This is not fan mail. This is a hint for the big mystery on my trailer. When YouTubers and creators come up with these new surprises and like things inside boxes, now I don't wanna speak for everybody, but at least for me, I, I feel like it's like Christmas. You don't wanna just rush into it. Because once the surprise is out, then it's like, oh, okay, it's, it's still cool, but it's not as thrilling. Saying that, I wasn't going to make this video today, I was actually going to make it tomorrow, but YOLO. Here is the hint. Ugh, not digging the smell of that. Two tubes. Without any further hesitation, let's get to it. Are you ready? Keep in mind I have two tubes for it, so it can't be a tank. Or can it? That's right, I bought a gator. never been so excited to go so slow. <laughs> this thing is going to be amazing, especially after I get my hands on it. I mean, this thing's true four-wheel drive. It's got the dump bucket that is currently tied down. So as you can see, it's got a dump box. Unfortunately, you have to do it by yourself. There is no like hydraulics or winch system or anything like that. But I mean, I'm sure I could come up with something if I really wanted to. But this sucker is true four wheel drive. I mean, look at that. It's got a chain going from the rear tire to the front tire. And that's doing that on both sides. Here's the transmission, it's got a like a snowmobile clutch on it. I'm not a very good auction buyer, how's that? I'll tell you the story in a second. But the reason why I bought the tubes is, well, you can probably see, and then these tires are a little flat. And then we have the Kawasaki. So yes, that is the new machine, that's the reveal. I bought a five-wheeled Gator, I think it's a 636 or something like that. It's a John Deere Gator, it's, it's four-wheel drive, it's four by five, and I think it's gonna be an awesome mudding machine or just something to like take on the trails and kind of improve trails, maintenance trails. I do want to tell you guys the story on how I bought it because I, the reason why I didn't do the, the reason why I didn't do the reveal sooner is because I have absolutely no idea what I bought. What honestly happened was I was talking to like two or three fans and we were just talking and I look over and this thing's being sold and, and I hear like 600 bucks and 650 bucks. And I'm like, man, that's extremely cheap. That's so worth $600 worth of fun, right? So I put a bid in, I end up winning, and then I start checking the machine out. I, I see that there's three low tires, one completely off the rim. I see it's a John Deere Gator. I didn't know that it was a manual dump. And I don't even know what kind of shape it's in. I still don't know what kind of shape it's in. I've been too, I've been way too busy. Saying that, I bought two tubes so that we can finally get this thing off the trailer so I can make it start moving forward. Well, initially backwards because I have to unload it from the trailer. But other than that, we need air in the tires. We need to roll this thing off. As you guys know, I'm usually a one-man crew. Things are hard to push with flat tires. That's why we got these. So let me get changed in my work clothes, and we'll start working, baby! So as you're aware, for the most part, I'm a one-man band. Jeez, 
Jesus. And what I mean by that is <sighs> that stupid trigger. And what I mean by that is I have to do everything by myself unless I'm with Jake, Seth, and his parents like I were yesterday. Yes, those are Jake's parents. Awesome people. The reason why I bring up the one man band thing is the fact that, you know, something as simple as unloading a new purchase becomes a hassle, really. Now, if I had Seth and Jake and Jake's parents, then I could just unload this by hand. Don't get me wrong, this hassle is, is awesome. I love chaos. So when I have to take an extra step, or in this case, a couple extra steps, I love it. Look at this. Not even on the ground because this one's pumped up. That's awesome. I don't think I've even asked you if you like the Gator yet. Is the Gator good, medium, or bad? Leave in the comment section below. I am I personally think it's one of my best purchases ever. <laughs> one of the most difficult to unload though. I'm still having a blast. Oh man, didn't even get that on camera. <laughs> well basically the front end slammed down and then the dump box almost pinched my fingers. I, I got it off though. There's the axle. Spring's finally here and I can get outside and do some work. I'm going to get to your fan mail. This one's from Morgan S. It's a tire inflator. So thank you very much, Morgan. I'm going to finally put it to some use. And Fat Lee, I'm using your tripod. It's working excellent. Thank you very much. So those are two fine individuals that we have to thank for this 3D Machines production. Without them, this skater wouldn't be where it is. It's not very far yet, but it, it will be. It'll have all five tires in a second. Thank you, Morgan. It worked. So the Gator has all five of its tires inflated. Not saying that two of them won't leak, you know, the back two. But the front one shouldn't leak. We got a brand new tube in it. That's step number one. Now there are a couple more steps to get this thing running. Unfortunately, my garage is extremely messy. I'm working on an outside project right now. We'll get to this thing very, very soon, I promise. I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal. Tell me what you think. If any of you have anything similar like this at your house, or if you know anybody on YouTube that has something similar to this, leave that in the comment section. Why? Because it looks like we're on Team Gator now. Four wheel drive, baby. I think this thing's gonna go through all sorts of mud. Enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping in. Until tomorrow, we make videos every day. 3D Machines out.